Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Easy Way Q&A video. I'm Marissa from Beautifully Organised. So this week's question comes from quite a lot of people. I don't have a particular person for this one because um, it came through quite a lot over the last month. Uh, if you follow beautifullyorganised.com, you'll see that we have a monthly challenge on the website. It's called Neat and Tidy 2012. If you haven't seen it before, I'll leave a link for you um, at the bottom of this video so you can go and check it out. Basically, I assign a room or an area of your home um, each month and then you get a little free checklist and then it has steps to follow to uh, clear out and organize that area of your home so anyway this month we were talking about car organizing and one question that came up quite a bit this month is um, how do you organize your long car trips like what do you pack for your kids so that they're comfy in the car for a long trip. I thought that was an excellent question and seeing as it was quite popular, I thought I would cover it today. Okay. So this is what I use to organize my kids in the car. Um, it's just a little um, zippered material box. It says little car on the front. And it's just a bag, a zippered bag that I picked up from Super Cheap Auto. I think it was around about $15 or $16, but I'm not sure. If I can find it online, I'll leave you a link. It's quite sturdy on the top, which I'll get more to that later. And it has pockets on the sides, on that side, um, none on that side. But it also has a shoulder strap, so I can carry it. So that's really good getting in and out of the car. With the girls inside this is what i keep to keep them busy on car trips so the way i put it in the car is like this and i have baby georgia on this side of the car and i have sophie who's my three-year-old on this side of the car and it's at a level where they can reach into it if they want to so i make sure that i pack some things that they can both use and i'm careful about where i pack them in this bag you can un velcro these areas lift it up and it exposes the zip um, this is a front pocket that if your kids were older you could use for snacks that sort of thing okay so it's sitting like this in the car and that way baby Georgia can reach her soft toys and she likes she's at that stage where she likes to just pull things out of bags and buckets and boxes that's her favorite game at the moment is take things out of a box so what I do is I prop a few little cuddly toys in there and she can just pull them out one by one and that keeps her busy for about 20 30 seconds of the car trip but it helps and then inside first thing for georgia i have is like a little soft bag so she can do more pulling out of things and in it i put like a little teddy bear and just little toys that's a fake phone um you know a block that sort of thing other things you can see in here um, your, your everyday toys. Sophie is really into, she's three, she's really into that imaginative play. So you put a couple of figurines in and she'll make them walk up and down the hill of the car seat. And some cars, same sort of thing as the figurine. Um, you can see I've got heaps of those little figurines so that as they use them and get bored and, you know, inevitably chuck them on the bottom of the car floor, there's more to dig in and get. But then we get to activities and these are mainly for Sophie. So I won't give Georgia reachable access to them these are books these are really cool the girls got these for their birthday so i want to say thank you to their auntie for these these are magnetic books and what they have is cardboard pages i have to ask her where she got them from cardboard pages but they come up the top with little magnets that you then add to the pages when you're telling the story um, i'll show you what i mean in a second they come with little magnets and you you, you can build a face with the magnets on there. I keep the magnets in this pencil case in the container. And I don't know. So basically she's just making a funny monster face on each page. But because they're magnetic, they're really good for in the car because, you know, they don't fall down easily. Next, what I do, I don't have them in here at the moment, but I keep crayons in there um, for the girls to colour with. Before we go, I usually, I have these drawn pictures that I've scanned and I put on the computer. And I just print a couple of pages out and staple them together before we go. Just save some money. Draw like a, a scene, like a park. And then her job is to draw the kids playing on the equipment. And the beauty of the container is... You see how before when I unzipped it, I undid these Velcro tags? Alright, so what you can do is zip the container up again and you can... I'll just zip it up. 
and you can fold the top of it like this. So you fold these up and Velcro them together. Okay, so like that. And then it becomes a tray with a hard top. So if Sophie wants to, she can really lean over and put a colouring in stuff on here so her crayons don't go everywhere. The last thing that I do for long trips in the car, and this is not something that everybody would do, and I get that, but you know, each to their own beautifully organised is all about making life easier. And for me, long car trips mean, yeah, I do want to use a DVD player. So here's what we have at the moment that we use in the car. Um, a couple of DVDs and why I choose them. Um, High Five is very big in our house at the moment. Dancing and singing, this is Make a Wish. I think that's the latest one that's come out. My next favourite that we use at the moment is this BBC Two Children's Favourites DVD. I love this because it's got the shows that the girls like, you know, like Spot and Wibbly Pig and Charlie and Lola and there's a Night Garden episode and there. It's it breaks up the trip because they're lots of little shows, so they're not getting bored with one thing. And then if we're driving at night, I throw in In the Night Garden. Because our girls watch this when they get ready for bed. And my hope is that they will get sleepy in the car when they watch that DVD. That's how I organise my long car trips for the girls in the car to keep them busy. I will do another video in the future about what I pack as far as snacks and drinks and that sort of thing goes and how I keep the car tidy when we do that but it'll be too long for this video so you'll just need to stay tuned. Which reminds me if you do want to stay tuned and not forget to miss anything on beautifullyorganised.com which is the website where I show these videos, head on over there and sign up for your free email updates and you will get everything in your inbox and also more things that I don't share on the website and I don't share on YouTube I will put in email newsletters every now and again so if you want more go ahead and sign up the free ebook is still available for this week it's five steps to an easy morning and that is your free gift when you sign up for email updates at the website that's it from me for the week so thank you very much everybody who sent in that question I hope that helped you with ideas on what to pack for long car trips to organize your kids and uh, yeah that's it, so have a great weekend. Don't forget, share this video if you've got friends and family that would benefit from these tips. Share away on Facebook or Twitter. And if you have a question for next week's Easy Way Q&A video, then send it on in. You can email me at marissa at beautifullyorganised.com or you can just ask me below this video or on Facebook or Twitter. So, yeah, have a great weekend and I will see you next week. Bye.